Hi, I'm Jan Tiremieng and I'll be presenting this paper entitled Structural Reductions Revisited. So we are interested in two kinds of properties here. We're looking at deadlocks and uh, looking at safety properties where we have a certain invariant we want to check that concerns a subset of the places of the net. So we are looking at the state space of the net and trying to find bad states that are part of the reachable state space. So if we can reach such a bad state, then the invariant is not preserved. So we're going to introduce three complementary strategies to address this problem in the paper. So the first approach consists in building an overall approximation of the state space of the system using SMT constraints, and then we can reason simply on the envelope of the states and uh, test whether we have an intersection with the bad states. If there is no intersection, we have proved that the invariant holds. Now, to make this approximation, we use a series of iterative refinements. So we start from this rough box, and then as we go along, we're going to refine it, refine it, trying to get a better approximation using a set of constraints, some of which are classical, like the state equation, and some of which are introduced in this paper, such as the causal constraints. The second approach is under approximation. For this, we use sampling. So basically what we're going to do here is execute the net and run through it. If we find a counterexample, the invariant does not hold. Otherwise, we don't really know. So how do we do this? We just use a very fast sparse implementation and a set of heuristics that are trying to explore different parts of the state space. The third part is the property-specific structural reductions that give their name to the paper. We're going to apply reduction rules that go from a net n to a net n prime, which preserve the properties of interest and is smaller, either because we discard parts of the net or because we accelerate over parts of the net. The reduction rules we define are property-specific. On the left, the only way to avoid a deadlock would be if there is an infinite loop in which tokens get inevitably caught, but just looking at the structure of the net, we can see here there are no SSEs, therefore a deadlock is actually unavoidable. On the right here, we can see a model where only a few places are interesting with respect to the invariant. So we can use another algorithm called the prefix of interest to compute these interesting places, here the set in black, and simply discard all this blue part of the net. So the paper presents a total of 22 reduction rules, especially graph-based rules, some new forms of agglomeration, and some reductions supported by the SMT over approximately. Extensive validation using 28,900 properties was performed, out of which we could solve almost 97% of deadlock queries and almost 99% of all invariant queries without using exhaustive model checking. In conclusion, we combine these three strategies in a workflow that allows to often directly conclude whether or not an invariant holds, and if not, can provide a simpler net and property that can be analyzed with any other strategy. All this work is implemented and available, and is also competing in the model checking contest.